today I'm going to be doing not one, not two, but three DIYs regarding your body. These are going to be all natural and you can do them easily. It doesn't take a lot of time. I created all three of these within a span of four hours. So it's not that time consuming amazing for your body as you know what you're putting on your body it has zero chemicals so it's amazingly good for your body so I will be creating a whipped body butter face cream as well as body lotion bar so if you want to know how to make these then please keep on watching starting off with whipped body butter you're gonna need some coconut oil some olive oil I like olive pumas oil and then you're gonna need some natural shea butter this is completely chemical free and you would need essential oils of your choice so I'm going to take half a cup of shea butter, half a cup of coconut oil and one third cup of olive oil. I'm going to have all the measurements listed down below. Then you want to keep a pan with some water on top of a stove to make a double boiler. You don't want to directly melt all of this. So I'm taking all of the ingredients that I've mentioned in one single bowl. And then I'm going to place it on top of the water that I've heated up. So this will cre create a double boiler system. You do not want to directly heat this up as this will lose all of its essential goodness. So once it's all liquefied, I'm going to take it off the stove and I'm going to let it cool down to a semi-solid state. So once it's of, it's of a semi-solid state, you want to start whisking it up. You can use a hand blender as well, but for the initial uh, stage, I went with a whisker because I like whisking. So yes. Once you are till this stage, when it is sort of whisked and mixed together, you want to add your essential oils now. So I'm using rose essential oil as it gives a really nice fragrance and is good for the skin as well. And then I'm just using my hand blender to whisk it up. You want to make it to a butter consistency, like a whipped butter consistency. And you would know it is good when it's stiff and it doesn't fall off. Like it's really stiff. You can see on the hand blender. So I'm just going to take a spatula and I'm going to fill up a recycled jar which I have sterilized. So it's clean and nice. So I'm just filling my jar up and you can see how stiff my body butter is. And that is how the body butter looks. It's really gorgeous and it does wonders to your skin so it's easy to apply you just want to take a little bit on your fingers and it melts with the warmth of your body so it's really good it doesn't stay white or anything and it is really moisturizing it is intense hydration it is essentially good for your um, elbows and knees as well which can turn a little dry they're more drier than your body so yep it's really good for that and you can see now there is no dryness Moving on to our face cream, you're going to need pure cocoa butter, you're going to need some olive pomace oil or you can even use extra virgin oil and then you're going to need some beeswax. So all the measurements would be down below so don't worry about that. But yes, I'm going to take all of the ingredients down in this bowl and again I have uh, created a double boiler. So yep, yeah, I've just put some water, that was the same water because I did this all together. So I'm just going to put this bowl in here. And I'm going to let it melt. It will take a little bit more time because it has beeswax in it as well. But it won't take like crazy amounts of time. So once it's all liquefied, you want to take it off the flame or the double boiler. And then you just want to pour it in your jar because this will solidify quickly as it has a beeswax. So you want to just pour it into your jar. And this is what your cream looks like once it's done. It smells beautiful. It doesn't need any essential oil because it has cocoa butters and cocoa butter smells just like chocolate. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply it on my face and it intensely hydrates your skin which is great. So yes, you can also use it as a lip balm as the cocoa butter I have used is a food grade. So even if you eat it up, it's all good. <laughs> no, but it has beeswax. Maybe not. <laughs> So yeah, but you can use it as a lip balm because beeswax is present in most lip balms. Then lastly for my body lotion bars, you're going to need coconut oil, you're going to need mango butter, you can use shea butter as well, essential oils of your choice and beeswax again. All the measurements again would be listed down below so check the bottom bar up and I'm going to take all of this into one single bowl again. So yeah, there goes my mango butter my okay no that was beeswax mango butter and oil so once that is done i'm going to place it on my double boiler which was the same boiler 
so yeah i'm going to place it right there and this will take crazy amounts of time in boiling because it has a lot of beeswax and beeswax takes a lot of time in melting so you want to be a little patient and you want to stir it consistently you don't want it to be glee so yeah just stir it And once it's all liquefied, you know the thing. You have to take it off the flame, and you want to work quickly with this because it solidifies really quickly. I poured it into a bottle, but before that, I am dropping some sandalwood essential oil because sandalwood is really good for your skin. So I poured it into a bottle, and you can see how quickly it solidified in the bottle as well. So I'm just pouring it into molds. You can use any molds of your choice, and once it's all you know dried up, you can just pop out the lotion bars, and your bars are ready. You can uh, you know refrigerate them as well. and all you want to do for, uh, to apply these bars is you just want to rub it on your skin and it will hydrate your skin like never before so i hope you guys enjoyed this natural diy and let me know if you like to see more natural diys from me because i have been definitely you know diverging towards natural diy simply because i know what i'm putting on my face and my body it has zero chemicals and it's just going to benefit my body way more and that's why i have been moving towards them a little bit throughout the past year so yes that is it for this video do not forget to follow me on all my social media which will be linked in the bottom bar as usual for you guys and i will see you guys definitely tomorrow till then take care bye